Hello everyone, I am DireFox240 and welcome back to Monster Hunter 4. So, uh, I found the problem. <laughs> and it's not a very elegant solution to making it work. Well, for starters, th those are the folks on the YouTube, this is going to feel really out of order. But, uh, TLDR, after episode 3, uh, poor ultimate freaking borked out and wouldn't work. So, I discovered that essentially it loads in all the textures and caches them in my RAM every single time we load the game up, which is, uh, bad. Now there's a certain selection I can pick in Citra to make sure that doesn't happen anymore, which is good. But, <laughs> it took a hot minute to figure it out thanks to a three or two year old thread about Pokemon. So, eh, it works. Sup duo, we fixed it. it. Monster Hunter 4 is back. So, Every time we would launch this game, I would essentially cache 10 gigs of textures into my RAM. I have a lot of RAM, but not a heck of a lot. So yeah, after like six launches, it crashed. <laughs> Repeatedly. And blue screened my computer. Which is also fun, because it blue screened before we started today too. I don't know why. It, I plugged in my PS4 controller, and it blue screened. Without Citroen. Launched. Yeah, without Citra even launch. Hello, Zion! How are you, sir? Sup, nerds? <laughs> oh, I broke my computer. <laughs> On the plus side, I, I started officially, I guess? I guess last week was officially. I started my second job. But today I actually did work. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's weird, Zion. I got it working. I need to make sure it continues working, or essentially my computer's gonna crash every time I try to launch this. Wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I have two jobs now. Um, oh, lag, okay. So, essentially, uh, I have another job that is essentially only like 20 hours a month on top of my 40 hours a week. So, nothing super crazy, but I'm helping out an old friend of mine from a different job, or from a previous job. Kinda sucks the channel put more effort in two, gets less traction than the <laughs> ah, It happens sometimes. I mean, my YouTube is just there. It, it just exists. I'm not really sure if anybody's really found it besides the 10 people that have already subscribed to it. <laughs> but either way, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying, Zion. Essentially, I need some kind of money. The only problem is um, they don't take out taxes, so I have to just be very conscious of putting money aside whenever they pay me for the end of the year. <sighs> it is what it is. Yeah, I'm technically a contractor for them, so my the rules are very loose, thankfully, because my boss is one of my previous co-workers from another job, so we're cool at least. I had 5k views on a meme, and the two edited videos I've made only got like 22 views. That's, yeah, that happens. The YouTubes is going to be the YouTubes. 1099 contractor, yeah. I had to fill out W9 and all that fun stuff. On the plus side, we also fixed some things, actually, for the emulator. Let me double check something real quick. Because if it didn't... Yeah, okay. So all the scenes now shouldn't be blurry anymore. Which will be good. And I have armor! <laughs> I spent the entirety of the past couple of weeks slaying cutcoos and velocidromes and stuff. Remind me to unlock the multiplayer gathering hub before we end stream. Okay. Because essentially I was doing this with sheer luck. I was farming Velocidrums and Cutcoos, which don't have regular quests, they only show up in the Everwood. So I had to wait for them to roll for the expeditions, okay. to actually hunt them and get the parts. And when you complete expeditions, you don't get bonus parts like you do on quests. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> Next video is 100% going to get me at least one subscriber. There's a goal. It's, it's, a, it's a starting goal, right? Speaking of government forms, I really want to fill out form 4473. You got the itch. Don't we frickin' all, my guy. Don't we frickin' all. Give me that water. I don't know what's going on. My throat's been really dry lately. So don't mind me if I just keep pausing randomly. Do you just, though? Do you? <clears throat> okay, so now it's time to roll our random weapon for the day. I 
That's a problem. <laughs> uh... Okay, so the command's broken. Hang on a second. Why does everything break when I'm going to go live? I swear to God. At least I know it's the stream element spot. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, stand by, kids. I need to fix my uh, alerts, apparently. We get to hear the full theme of Hearth. Okay, shut up, stream elements. I don't need you to be loud. Okay, bots. Commands. Where's my weapon command? No? Where is it? Custom commands, duh. Okay, AVG, you need to freaking go away, dude. Now, why is this broken? Going to into Kaiju are hot in everyone's minds thanks to Godzilla minus one. Fair enough. You mean automatic power dropper? What? Oh, powder dropper. God, I can't read. Okay, random pick. Oh, God. I have no idea why it's broken. Well, it's broken at dual blades, right? Oh, I see what happened. I got it. Christ. I got lazy is what happened. Well, this explains why we rolled sword and shield twice. Because we technically only had three or four options available to us. Yay, live diagnostics. Save. Let's try this again. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. We'll do. <laughs> I'm still gonna roll it anyway to make sure it works, but we'll, we'll do sword and shield for duo. Sword and shield, sword and shield, sword and shield. Charge blade. Oh, yeah. you cocksucker! No, you have no idea how bad this is. Charge blade is my all time favorite freaking weapon in this game, bar none. End of story. And I rolled it now, of all times, after Duo has redeemed a sword and shield freaking use, at least against the next monster. <laughs> but the command works, so that's fine. That's all I care about. That's all I should care about. <laughs> Despite being called Godzilla, Gamera is more of an actual Jesus figure? That is true. I mean, Godzilla's more of a nuke, so I, keep, I just kicked the mic. So, we'll do Sword and Shield for freaking Gypsaros as courtesy a duo. <sighs> do I have a Sword and Shield that it's actually upgraded? I spent so much time trying to upgrade everything. Uh, manage equipment. I have a Soldier's Dagger. Um, I could absolutely upgrade this. Stand by. Actually, I don't think I'm going to, though. I might hold off. What can I upgrade it to? Sword and shield. So we have a soldier's dagger. Let me go see what I can upgrade it to. Because otherwise Gypsaros is going to eat my soul. <laughs> Godzilla's is just an animal. He's just a big lizard boy. Alright. The man. Please, please make me a weapon worthy of kings. Ooh, I can actually make this. <laughs> yes! Okay, so I can't do either of these two, which makes me sad. But we have a commander's dagger now, which is better than what we had. <laughs> Christ. Alright, Guild Marm, please give us the quest that I'm going to regret doing. Big angry lizard boyo, pretty much. Look up the faith of Gamera 3 to see why Godzilla pales in comparison to the Guardian of the Universe. Considering all the things that you've told us, I could easily believe it even now. Wait, what? Guildmarm is saying something about Narcacuga sparkling. It's even Narcacuga like sparkle in his eyes. Oh, Narcacuga like sparkle. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Carrying on. 
Oh wait, what's our urgent? Viserios, okay. So. <laughs> I don't want to fight this that's thing. that's actually supposed to be a Nargakuba eye sparkle reference. Yeah, not, not a Nargakuba sparkle. Not your eyes sparkle like Nargakuga, but your eyes sparkle like Nargakuga's eyes sparkle. Ah, uh, that's fair. It was said properly, but it's inferred wrong by a lot of people. Hmm, probably. That's why it's confusing. Yes. Take all the anti- take all the antidotes. Actually, am I combining items? Am I making items? Raccoon, what are you making for me? Herbs, okay. Let's grab a couple more of these. In case I need to make more antidotes. Uh, Arthur saying Iris is literally the Antichrist. Her arrival will bring a plague of, of uh, the Gallios and destroy the entire world, indeed. Just realized every time I've been in here, someone talks about Godzilla and starts to do a comment string about Kaiju Sazion. That would probably be Arthur, yeah. That'd be the same <laughs> person every time. Mm -hmm. um, and then Crow occasionally pipes in with a couple of things here and there, too. Oh, well, yeah. But that's Crow. He talks with everybody. Yeah. I don't want to fight this monster. I hate this freaking thing so much. We're fighting a rubber chicken. We're fighting a rubber chicken that flashes and poisons people. <laughs> so it flashes people and poisons their mind. I didn't need. Yes, there, Fox? <laughs> I realized what you said. And yeah, essentially, its freaking tail is one of those wiggly doorstop things that make the crazy noises that cats love. Uh, I hate this thing so much. Yeah, sure, save my progress. <laughs> oh, what a crazy start to this. Okay, you use this sword and shield, now you can use charge plate. <laughs> Uh, I wish that's how it worked. No, I'll, I'll use the sword and shield for Gypsaros. It's actually a pretty good one to use. If for nothing else, then it has a shield. Let's see. Water resistance, ice, no. How much is trainer? Um, hmm. Well, none of those are really that great, so... Sure. Oh, and our cat is no longer blurry. So it works. <laughs> Let's face it, if I used Charge Blade on Gypsaros, the fight would be over before it started. I gotta go get the quest. <laughs> it says it's Sunbreak Self. You can't just grab a quest, run around, and then leave on it whenever you feel like. Onward ho. Speaking of which, since we'll be using Charge Blade after this Gypsaros, I have to see if I can even make one. I have to hope I have one. I suppose <laughs> you do. Yeah. Just take everything. We'll sell this other stuff later. There we go. If camera was a monster, things would be a lot different. You have to figure a giant turtle monster would make perfect sense in a well, monster hunter game. Although we also don't have a Godzilla. We have Lao, which isn't even close to either one of those things. Alright, where does Gypsaros hang out? I think he's actually up in seven. Devil Joe? Eh. I guess. I don't know. I don't like Devil Joe. It's it's a pickle, not a Godzilla. Like yeah, it has like a dragon breath weapon. No spines along its back. No cool looking face. <laughs> Gypsaros does not appear. We haven't fought one yet, so we have to queue up the scene. Oh, yes! 
Juan well, Francisco Juan. here. <laughs> Hello, Francisco. guys. Hope y'all are doing good. Having a good day. We fixed for ultimate, which makes me happy, but we fixed it in a really stupid way. Where the frick is this thing? Is it down in three? It is. Well, people don't want to admit it, but Gamera lasts longer against Goku than Godzilla would. Yeah, I can see it. It's actually a very good day minus Tom. Tom with a caps lock. Who is Tom to have warranted such a caps locky name? Dare I ask? Thanks Facebook. <laughs> I thought that was MySpace. MySpace, my bad. <laughs> Tom from MySpace. Years. He tried to kill Jerry. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was the issue. Ah, got it. I usually call that werewolfing. Or Shark Week. Or Shark Week. That's always a fun one too. And look, the scene looks great. It's actually working. I'm so happy. Love the chicken. Dumb rubber chicken. <laughs> I don't mean to be clicking my controller, sorry. Laugh my ass off if it killed itself before you get to fight it. That would be hysterical, honestly. Shark Week makes me okay. think more teeth versus okay. blood. That's this needs fair, an explanation. Yeah. Shark Week comes from the fact that <clears throat> the, the internally, essentially the fallopian tubes and, and everything uh, looks like a shark? Almost identical to like a shark brain. Wait, and really? I was. Yeah. That's that's where shark we came from. Wait, from really? Yes. I had no freaking idea. Yeah, you have to look at the pictures side by side to see it, but it's it's anatomically almost the same. That's crazy. Yeah. Turn to a big old baby. Uh oh, fair enough. Cry at me. I I feel. Yeah, that's a that's a very very descriptive description, and it sounds very on point. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The emotional side of the of Tom, we shall call it from now on. That's hilarious. It really freaking sucks. Oh, look at your easy to I know! It's, it's so almost cute. like you're fighting with a dagger. Pretty or much. I mean, it'll suffice. Then I can block these flashes. Buddy, what are you doing? Yeah, he doesn't even know. I mean, it could be age, it could be the kids. Like, every time a woman has children, Ow. her internal makeup changes, essentially. Yeah. Sometimes it changes almost non existently, and sometimes it changes in mass love. It depends on the person, I think. Yeah, it also depends on the kid they're having. Sometimes, uh, pretty much 99% of the time, there's leftover DNA in the body for a while, like, the light. It Makes sense. Usually doesn't really do anything, but there hasn't really been an astronomy study on it. Yeah, despite the amount of children the humans have, I guess. No, it's just nobody's really looked into it that much at all. Fair. Stop doing your freaking flashy thing, bud. Oh, damn it. Oh god. Or at least that's the last time I heard of it. Remember that uh, horse video I was watching and the lady was like, it was once thought that, um, the more- Really? Why'd you steal the empty file, you dickhead? Um... Drank an antidote. Gets poisoned immediately afterwards. <laughs> Anyway. 
I see a couple comments that I have not been able to read yet. Yeah. That's one of those things. When you mag, you're stupid. You're not looking at yourself, so it's hard to notice when you're mildly mad all the time that you're actually mildly mad all the time and mm. you're being an asshole. Can confirm. It's one of those self-reflections that's not easy. You're trying to be introspective while you're mad, you mean? No, it's just not easy to notice. Ah, uh, fair. <laughs> it's like, usually hard. It's not easy to notice that you have done it, let alone to notice while you're doing it. Mm, no. But if you notice that you do do it, it becomes easier to figure out that you are doing it. True. It's. It also often is easy to turn it into like uh, being a hypochondriac where you think you're sick, so you make yourself sick. Mm, okay. So, well, you might start seeing yourself as doing things, being an asshole, when you, in fact, we're not you know, doing anything in the first place. Interesting. All I know is that when we had the talk in grade school, the teacher that I had was the nurse, the school nurse, and she was like in her 70s. It was not a wonderful time. Oh, if it's, a, if it's one of your medications, yeah, that would be bad. Mm, yeah. I mean, the way all of us speak, we don't sound that old. Could be up there in the, in the menopause stages, depending on age. And these days, some people go through menopause way too early. Way earlier than they should. Yeah. Bye, Chipsaros. Ultra Gamma versus Xeno Goku? Who's the better lover? <laughs> That's a question. I talk about the Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indiana Jones 5 made 50 mil less than its budget. Is anyone surprised? My, my second boss was talking about it, and he was like, he went to go see the movie, and he says it's better than Crystal Skull, but at the same time, it's, you know. It's not as good as the one with Shia LaBeouf. That's the one with Shia LaBeouf. Crystal, Crystal Skull is. Really? Mm-hmm. Granted, eh. I hope it's not pre-menopause. Pre it's still one or two more kiddos. <laughs> Fair enough. You have a 15 million and 2 million yen. Wait, wait, wait. If you still want one or two more kiddos, you gotta be talking with the man who's shooting blanks. Yeah, hold on a second. What? I don't know how to process that information. <laughs> Medically. Yeah, Medically. Is it they, reversible they though? They had him made so that he is shooting blanks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Science. Blunt science. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Because if you make it so a man permanently shoots blanks and is not reversible, um, it causes all sorts of problems, usually suicide. That's, that's a big problem. Oh, also syringe. Plum's also saying that they can take a syringe right from the source. Oops, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that works. Literally every single King Ghidorah movie at the box office? Well, that's freaking wild, actually. King Ghidorah has a pretty interesting following. Can't reach you! I know. <laughs> pretty sure that you just waited. Uh Book. <laughs> some more drink. This isn't shaken. We just had a tiebreaker, because we <laughs> were even for girls and boys, even with animals. Oh wow. Hmm. So the next one's gonna be a wild card is what you're telling me, huh? Oh, I should be gathering stuff. There you go. Thank you.
basically. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, really. Kid Dora's Godzilla's first rival. For being 100% honest, can't prove for ever be his true rival. <laughs> One day, Arthur's gonna make a, a, a movie. Yeah, guessing is usually pretty easy if you know what to look for. Hmm. Yeah. The high carry versus low carry. I forget how it how it works. If it's supposed to be like, um, like which one is which. Yeah, I but there's too, a these days. There's something to, to it. Well, I mean, does it depend on the person, or is this just a, like a general rule of thumb? It's a general rule of thumb. Is it? Hello there. Uh, let's see. How do I pronounce your name? I'm gonna call you Yellow, if that's okay. <laughs> so I see a, a, an MH4U in there, so... Yellow, though? Welcome in. Welcome to a little spot of the internet. The end of it is Monster Hunter for you. You're French? Okay. So I'm definitely mispronouncing something. Well, the son cried every time he was told he was getting a brother. <laughs> he didn't want brothers, but now he loves them, especially the youngest. Oh. Oh, I haven't been paying attention. So this lady is um, one of the Ace Commander's people. The lady with the bow gun, I should say. <laughs> Your English seems fine to me for the moment. Eh, agreed. Granted, I also stumble all over my words all the time, so. What are you shouting in French, duo? Dare I even ask? Don't scare away the new people. Uh. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> God, none of us profess to be experts, even though I have the degree, but still. Can you help? Help? Help what, exactly? Is that, I guess, is the question? And yeah, duo, I know I realize that there are movies that are made to be just strictly entertainment. It doesn't mean I have to like them. <laughs> Just gonna play Tekken the other day. He kicked my butt. Probably God needs damn. help you by playing oh, in a hub. for gore. Admittedly, I have no idea how to make a hub on the emulator. Uh, yeah, you. That's another thing to specify that it's on an emulator and not actually. Not actually the 3DS. Well, the 3DS servers did get shut down as well. Um, did they port it to the Switch yet? No, sadly. I freaking wish. There's just GU. Just GU and, and Sunbreak on Switch. Okay. Also, is Gormagala locked behind a certain hunter rank? So that's the other question. Because I haven't done anything in the Gathering Hub yet, which could be an issue. Just starting off. Mm hmm. 100%. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Ace Commander. You're the hunter. You? Really? The hunter is you? <laughs> Ace Commander's not impressed with us. But yeah, uh, Yellow, if you. What? If I can help? If I can figure out how to help, I'd be more than happy to. I just don't know how to make the hub. Currently. Currently. No, no problem at all. You're just not quite on the same level as my expectations. Thanks, Commander. I hear your services were, were procured back in Bell Harbor. You are the hunter. Incredible. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm wearing a lot of, like, Kutku and Velocidrome armor, but we'll, we'll get there, dude. We're, we're, we're growing here. <laughs> don't understand. No worries. So... Essentially, I don't know how to connect my game to the internet, besides showing everybody the, the game itself. Um... <laughs> then be going the stories makes you think you'll get a hub quest there, for there's it. There's also too. asking which part that they don't understand. Hmm. Like the emulator itself. Ah, uh, like I can give you tips on how to fight Gore. No, he, but... they, they might be saying they could help you get to unlock and fight for. <laughs> can you game with me? There's the question. I have no idea if I can or can't. I Technically, I should be able to. But I don't know how to set it up, so unfortunately, no. I don't think I can. At least not right now. Right this second is a no. Mm -hmm. um, because it's... She's... I'm still going through she, the story. She's playing it on the computer, and it's not supposed to be on the computer. Technically. There is a program that is faking a 3DS and allowing her to play the game. There is a way that she can play with other people, 
who are also playing on the computer the same way, but mm -hmm. we don't know yet. <laughs> yes or no? Can you help me? No, I cannot help you. I'm Not sorry. Not right this second. Not right this second. Uh, so the servers are shut down? Yeah, 3DS servers are shut down. So the eShop for the 3DS is also gone. You can't buy anything over the internet anymore on 3DS. So if you did make a hub, yeah. Well, no. I don't know. Honestly, Arthur, I have no idea. There's a way to do it through the emulator. I don't know how to do it, though. <laughs> no problem, I, I, I wish I could be of more help. Uh, so scientists are sta uh, saying the star beetle juice in Orion constellation may explode. It- I thought it already exploded. Yellow's definitely on 3DS. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe so. I thought one of the stars in Orion's belt already exploded. I know the North Star supernova back in like 2008. Yeah, that's- and we can still see it, right? I don't remember. Well, yeah, we'll still be get. If we recognize that it's supernova without it going out, then yeah, it should still be there for thousands of years. Mm. Uh, that's fair too, Arthur. I didn't think about that. <laughs> what manga are you reading, courtesy of Plum? Uh... And a Chuck Norris joke. Let me look real quick. Oh, crap, I'm I don't remember off the top of my head. Frick. I am reading... Manga is I Love Amy. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? There's a movie- It was one I found a while ago, it's wholesome. Fair I was bored and clicking randomly, which is how I find good shit. Do you remember when um, Jay and Silent Bob made like a super serious movie about one of them being in love with a lesbian? No. I forget what that movie is called. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I just sound like a crazy person, so right. A fixed fight between Johnny Bravo and Tommy Pickles. Oh, Johnny Bravo. I'd buy... Yeah, I'd still say Johnny Bravo, even though he's a show-off. You're prepared to defend the caravan from any danger, and I mean any danger. Not just the tiny dangers you can handle. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, Commander. The reason I ask is because if any harm befalls your companions, you will have to answer to me. Personally. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Commander! Dude, what is your what is your what is your beef? I, I remember you lost a, a compatriot when you fought Lunastra, but calm down, my guy. <laughs> Tommy Pickles once part of the Red Spaghetti Sea. Does Johnny Bravo have any feats like that? No, not in the slightest. Red Spaghetti Sea. What episode was that? It's Rugrats. I know it's Rugrats. I don't know. Anyway, all right, Plum. Here's your Chuck Norris jokes, and some of them are a little more fucked up than others. That's how these go, yeah. Chuck Norris's last option is violence. It is also his only option. <laughs> okay. Naturally. Next up. Chuck Norris likes his girls like he likes his whiskey. 12 years old and mixed up with coke. Oh my god. What the frick? I know. Like I said, some are more fucked up than, than others. Yeah, seriously. But I'm Third surprised on that your one's page, in the book. By the way, you have a special page of four rare one in this book. There is no chin behind Chuck Norris's beard. There is only another fist. That's mm. okay. That's a normal one. Yep, that's a normal one. Uh, and last up. Phone scared me. What the frick? And last up on your page of Chuck Norris jokes. Chuck Norris won a staring contest with Medusa. And it has a picture? Yep. So, let me describe this picture. It's essentially Chuck Norris just casually staring at Medusa with a drink and a hot dog in his hands. And Medusa is like in this position where she's trying to like attack him and falling apart. Because Cause she's turned to stone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Can't tell if this nettle used to be a Nathaniel. That's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> Possibly. It's one that we're hunting the gypsers. Now that the gypsers' materials are on the market, I can gather what I need. Caravan will soon have a fine ship because of you. You should be proud. Have you spoken with the street cook? He had a favor to ask of you. Well, first off, my good sir, I need a charge blade. Ooh, we can make a defender's blade straight up. Uh, yes, please. You right there? 
Yeah. I forgot, I forgot they went for, for more water. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Who's this? Yeah. It's called <laughs> Oh, God. Because I promised. I said I would. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, if you have to disappear, I can move everything out of the way so you can disappear. Yeah, you might want to mute that for us for a second while I... Oh, okay. Hang on. Muting. See you in a couple seconds, my dudes. Okay, I have returned. <laughs> Lifting contest between Goku versus Gamera? Oh, Gamera, 100%. Well, actually, I don't know. Depends on how uh, in inspired Goku is feeling. And also the hat man? Alright, Street Cook, you have a quest for me. What is it? Hunter, I thought of a way to make Traverians feel better. I'll cook them some of my number one meals. It's a good idea, Meow. The full stomach is the path to true happiness, after all. To make delicious meals, I need delicious ingredients. The vendor I do business with says they'll send higher quality ingredients if I capture a Gendro. Capture? Hunter, you'll help me? Capture a Gendro? It will be so easy, I promise. Jovarian's already got better? Oh, yeah. well, I have a good plan for nothing. <laughs> oh well. Why not capture a Gendro anyway? We can upgrade the ingredients. I already gave Guildmarm the quest. I named it Roadwork. For monster capture, you need trank bombs and shock traps or pitfall traps. I recommend you take many in your pouch. Good luck. Do I even have any capturable things? I don't think I even have any traps. I have one trank bomb. <laughs> that is not enough. This should rename Hinge the bottom of the barrel? Huh? What? I know not what you say, duo. I'll figure out capturing stuff later. Nobody cares about Gendrums anyway. Uh, Guildmom will always be the one to talk to last because she's freaking amazing. Camera can actually move 3,000 tons. Goku at his base can lift about 80 tons easily and 120 if he's feeling inspired. <laughs> Fair enough. So I was right the first time. Hey there, beauty. 
What? How much for this? That thingy there? I think I've got enough. What? Oh, beauty is in the dwarf. Okay, you're not, ta you're not talking to me, kid. How about psycho serums? Can you hook a mobra up? What? What do you mean you're out? But I really, really need a psycho serum. I have a top secret mission. Pretty please? Huh? Oh, hi there. Do I know you? Wait. Oh yeah, I saw you back in Bell Harbor. Catch a what's up, yo. God damn it, this guy. Oh, the dating app? I've never had any other apps swiped left so much. Jesus. Once Goku uses Super Saiyan Transformer or transformations, it'll be more difficult to say. Yeah. Base Goku, though, is... Well, not even a, compar a comparison in this case. What's that? Oh, you talked to the commander? Seriously? He chewed you out during your very first conversation? That's a new record. He didn't rathalose it with me until, like, our second chat. <laughs> rathalose? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be rathalose. High five! <laughs> Thanks, cadet. I've totally got to introduce you to the rest of the gang. Over there by the antiquary is the ace gunner. She's totally chill. That means she makes good split-second decisions. I know she saved my poogies more than once. <sighs> the guy over there talking to your care of an ear is a vet. In fact, he makes your average vet look like a total noob. He was supposed to do something or some other mission if, or something, but he just came back to help us out. What a dude. And the scary-looking guy in blue who gave you the blast furnace treatment is the commander. He's not so bad, though. In fact, I look up to him. When I first started out hunting, he took me under his wing. Hey, maybe he yelled at you because he thinks you're pretty okay. That's how it started out with me. Well, as cadet, considering you improve leaps and bounds, then I, I guess so, maybe. We're all, we're all friends here. Go in peace. Thanks. I thought Tinder was the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> or is Hinge the new Tinder? It seems like Hinge is the new Tinder. I'm not sure, though, Plum. Gamera and his Wigos being impaled several times and having his shell blown off by Legion can still move 3,000 3, tons. Well, I think Gamera's got the advantage then. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Treverian. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just the dating anthem is meant to be deleted, this is duo. There you go. Hey, hey, Hunter. The lady at the Val Harbor Market filled me in. You agreed to deliver the sushi fish and you didn't even make it in. Make an annoyed face or anything. Uh, think you can do me a solid too? My little one put it together a fish bowl the other day, but she doesn't have any fish to put it in. What? Since I'm lousy at fishing, I was hoping you could bring me some small golden fish. I filled a quest with a gold worm called Fish Wish. Counting on you, Hunter. Big time. Uh, we'll deliver your fish later. Wrong direction. So you find someone or you delete it because there's no one. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Well, the infamous hunter. I've heard all about you from the care of an ear. Gladdens me has found a worthy looking replacement. Oh no. I too am a hunter. My companions and I are called the Ace Hunters. But really, all that means is that we've been around for too long. I must say, the caravan looks far livelier than I remember it. Perhaps I was the one souring the mood. Oh, you were a, a caravan hunter too, my guy? Used to be a member, you see, ever since I left, I have wondered if I made the right decision. Not that the guild gave me much choice, it summoned me specifically for this new mission. Monstrous tasks like this are an honor for any hunter, the caravaneer said. Take care of your new leader. He tried to make my departure easier. And now I know he's in good hands again with you. I'm confident you will take good care of him and the rest of the group. How do I know? Because he knows. He chose you. Just mind that he doesn't drag you headlong into danger. He likes doing that. Too late for that, my guy. Oh boy. <laughs> Duo and Plum are talking about dating apps, it looks like. Of which I know nothing about. Alright. Hot gunner lady. Well, hello there. How goes the hunt? Know you? Of course I know you. You're on the care of an team, right? It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Us? We're here to investigate a certain monster. Serious business, let me tell you. Anyway, just doing a quick stop over at this village. I hear you've come to build a ship. The ocean is serious business, too. I suppose we should both try to help each other out as much as we can. Have you met our fearless leader yet? He's the guy in blue who looks constipated. <laughs> yup, that one. I guess that's a description for the commander, yeah. Don't worry, he may not be a champion smiler, but he won't break your kneecaps either. Hope he didn't lay into you about- Oh, he did? Sorry. 
Try to pretend he's a shark while he talks. You look at him a totally different way. <sighs> Match owns like five separate different dating apps? Jesus Christ. Well, I guess it's where the money's at. Good lord. Hi, Doodle. I heard the story. The street cook needs your help. The relevant quest is called Roadworks. You need to, you need to capture a monster this time. To do it, you'll need to have Frank Bombs, Shock Trap, and Pitbull Trap as well. Supply items will cover you to some extent, but you can always bring your own just to be extra safe. Always buy materials at the market to build your own traps if you want to have a look. Any questions? Of course you have questions. Oh, you want to know about that hunter with the la er, with the lance the boss was talking to? That's right, you don't know the story. Those four hunters are known as the Ace Hunters. The guild sends them out- s sends. <laughs> sends them out with important, sometimes top secret missions. The one with the lance was a member of our caravan until recently. When the mission from the guild came in, however, he left. Not that there are any hard feelings. I, for one, am happy to see him in such good health. That's nice of you, Guildmarm. Mm -hmm. Well, we might be able to capture the Gendron. What is the urgent quest? Mysterios. Uh... Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope that they have enough supplies for me to actually pull this off without needing to bring my own. Gendrum yet, but we might as well have. Now the reason the good dating sites all died and the board of directors should be similar. <laughs> summarily executed for crimes against humanity. Oh god. Them and the Rosetta Stone? People? What? Why? Is they charge an arm and a leg for everything? Well, here's the trap stuff. I could make a couple actually. Go buy some trap tools. Yes. Uh, how how bad are those other stone people? Is it just because of the money? Oh yeah. <laughs> While I was grinding out this armor set, I ran out of freaking money. In a Monster Hunter game. Don't ask me how. I guess because I made too many things. Interesting, so Genprey things will also make shock traps. Not gonna be the method I'll be using by a long shot. Alright, let's give this a go. I kinda wanna- well, I hope Wolf gets back by the time we get to Viserios. Plum says uh, Facebook dating is better. Her sister refers that over dating sites. Interesting. I don't think you're the first person who's recommended Facebook dating either at this point, so there's gotta be something to it, I guess. How goes it, Kindred Hunter? You all set to take on the next challenge? <laughs> okay, I'll level with you. These capture quests can be a big pain in the old keister. The thing is, if you slay the target monster, you fail the whole quest. Capturing a monster takes a keen eye and steady nerves. Well, and a bunch of equipment too, like traps. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Before you even think about capturing a monster, you gotta weaken it first. You're making headway when the beast starts limping when it wild or God, when it walks! We're heading back to its nest to rest up. Step two is snaring that monster in a trap, like a shock of pitfall trap. Stop it from moving around for a bit. A lot stuck there. Step three, smack it silly with trank bombs. Use a trank bomb with the Y button like a normal item. You'll throw it right at your feet, but if you move the circle pad and you press the Y button, you'll toss it forward. Okay. So same controls as before. Or as before. Of course, if you've got a bow gun, you can use trank shot in instead. It's one thing to watch out for if you use up all your trank shots before you capture the monster. Well... You ain't gonna capture squat. Just have to abandon the quest and start all over from the top. Life's like that sometimes. Just remember, weaken it, trap it, trank it. That's all there is to it. <sighs> well, care when you I've captured me many a monster. You should be okay. Awesome. So my easy shock trap and my trank bombs are really freaking far away from each other, though. Or maybe not so far. Oh well. Uh, 
three scams got the number of very attractive quote unquote masseuse. Yeah, I remember that now. I might dial up anyway because she seems nice. I couldn't use a good one. God damn it, duo. <laughs> Plum is supportive of whatever your decision is. Ah, that was my ankle for the record. Start. Cost like 500. The white snap now. This depressive spell you've been in? Maybe. I know it's not your uh, first decision by a long shot, but I guess it's there. Alright, Charge Void. It's been a hot minute, but I remember how to do this. Actually, I should paintball him just in case, because I don't remember where the frick this dude goes. <laughs> Plum, I don't blame you. Long Machine secretly a cop? That's a good question, actually, because uh, if you try to capitalize on things and she's secretly a cop, then... That's a lot of freaking getting pretty dudes. I mean, maybe she is secretly a cop, but still likes to be a, a, a masseuse. Alright, I don't have to bother morphing this freaking thing. I can just block attacks. When I didn't ask for a happy ending and just one of the kinks out. <laughs> that is true, you could. I mean, I guess there are ways to prove that uh, nefarious things were happening. Nefarious? I don't know if that's nefarious. I don't think that counts as nefarious. Oh, he's limping already. Okay, well, that could have been disastrous. People need to die. Came up with the fastest, most efficient way to learn the language and pay well out of existence. Pretty much, yeah. Alright, let's uh, use the shock trap. They decoded love and pay well out of existence. Yeah. You know what? Fair enough. That's a pretty sucky thing to do. See, just like that, Charge Blade messes up again, drum. God, I miss this weapon so freaking much. It's so good in 4U, too, because it's the... It's actually the first game that had the Charge Blade, so they overpowered the snot out of it to make people use it, I guess. E-Harmony had a good thing going. It worked. I demand blood. It, what do you mean by it worked? Like it matched people up well? Fish ingredient level upgraded! Yay! We have better quality fish. It made amazing matches? Huh, okay. I'll have to... Actually, I don't remember what my high school buddy used to get his current wife. That'd be a good question. It was something unexpected, though. It wasn't like eHarmony or something. Uh, give me some glum glass. Glum glass. Glum grass roots. And I can fulfill different quests that way. Yep, okay. Thanks, Waikun. 
something like five people who were freaking hopeless that found love? Wow. For you to call them freaking hopeless is a pretty big deal. One of them was my cousin, who punched out three kids at the age of 40? What? Why? Oh, like punched out as in made kids, not actually punched children. Okay, noted, the water bottle is loud. Perfect work, Hunter. You captured the Gendrome, and so now I can upgrade the kitchen the kitchen ingredients. Forgot to say, heard the chief solved the mystery of Hearth's lava problem. You already spoke to him? Huh, I see. Yep. Hearth guy is all happy. So I guess they change the dialogue depending on what quests you completed. That's fun. But you think I'm a miner. Since I'm a Traverian, I must schlep rocks around all the time. Is that it? Huh? Is it? Oh god. <laughs> Yes, my cousin, who for 40 years didn't want kids, fell in love and had three kids on eHarmony. Ah, okay. Wow, that is quite the success story, then. Wrong, you big lug -a jug I only do this to keep my muscles in shape for my real job. Egg delivery. <laughs> I should've known. That's right, I got the lowdown from Arboyo and Bell Harbor. I hear you've got a bright future. The question is, can, you ha can those wonder arms of yours handle an herbal egg, hmm? Of course, I'll make it worth your while. Deliver on this, and I'll talk to the Don to see if he'll make you a capo. You ain't gonna pass up a chance at management, are you? Are you? Huh? <laughs> We're getting invited into the Egg Mafia. Now go talk to the Gilmarm and sign up for extraction herbivores. And don't tell nobody. Nobody! I'm trying to be incognito here. <laughs> God damn it. By the way, Hunter, I've been thinking. And in my mind, you deserve a little thank you gift. How'd you like to be able to gather all you want in the Sunken Hollow? You'd love it, right? Well, I filed a quest with the green mist called Harvestor Sunken Hollow. Now you can dash around the Sunken Hollow and gather till those beefy arms fall right off. Beefy arms, you say? Where's Plum? I don't know. Uh, she might have gotten uh, captured by uh, Cisco, for example. <laughs> Or she might be lurking, I don't know. Hunter, Hunter, guess what? I managed to pinpoint what's keeping the lava from flowing. Yeah, see, there you go. The plum's just lurking. I chased the hardened lava all the way upstream and you never believe what was hiding back there. A monster called the Nursilla has built a stung little nest right where the lava comes out. Heck yes. I noticed a huge boulder in front of the lava spout and had just pulled out my pickaxe when I felt this cold stare. And there it was. Big ugly Nursilla with nasty pinchers. <laughs> the big Logamajug. They like Logamajug. I'm on Facebook dating for three weeks. I can't multitask today. <laughs> no worries. Perfectly un excuse me, perfectly understandable. Actually, that's a good question, Duo. Plum probably can give a lot better advice than I can in terms of how to set up your profile and whatnot. It was hideous. I could feel it staring me down as if to say, no touchy my bouldery. <laughs> I don't think Priscilla care about boulders, but alright. Anyway, I, uh, I hightailed it out of there as fast as my Traverian legs would take me. Do Hearth a favor, Hunter. Whack out Priscilla and restore Hearth to its usual vim and vigor, I'm begging you. Take it out and we can get the lava flowing right back here to the village. Then you get your ship. Alright, I guess we're gonna fight Nursilla. Um, Facebook dating is the, the profile bump. Oh my god, stop. There we go. I know all about it, Doodle. Culprit behind the lob stoppage is none other than a monster. The grim and yet strangely groovy Nursilla. Uses status afflictions of all kinds to corner its prey. Take it down and Hearth will get its lava flow back, which means we can get our ship. While you're at it, Doodle, I'd also like to ask a very tiny favor. Very tiny. Microscopic, really. I can wait until you get back, but could you reenact how the Nursilla uses its pincers? Science wants to know. <sighs> Alright. Well, for those of you who have not seen a Nursilla, it extends its pincers out of its mouth about the same length of it as its body and uh, smacks them together to poison you. So I don't think I can reenact re that for Guildmarm. <laughs> you know, just flay your arms around and I can slowly get the picture like this. I'll have my notebook ready to sketch it. Those daggers I see in your eyes. What's the matter? Oh, I know. You want credit. Don't worry. I'll put your name below the sketch. Happy urgent questing, Doodle. Urgent questing? Oh! 
We have two urgent quests? I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Let's we'll slap on their silica. Steady search for personally not made for dating apps or hookup sites, because that would make me cry. Yeah, understandable. Um, I do not know what his profile looks like, so I can- unfortunately I have zero help. Alrighty, so... I need antidotes again. Which I only have seven, but that's okay. Uh, I think Plum is on our Discord, yeah. Like, you could show, like, screenshots and, like, edit out your real name and whatnot. Actually, do you don't even use your real name on... I don't know. Never asked. Alrighty. I believe I remember where Nursilla is. She should be up in six, where we found all those dead, well, gypsaros hanging from the ceiling. Oh god, I didn't even look at the weather recently. Supposedly, we're getting more thunderstorms, do we? Which I hope is the case, because it's freaking hot as hell. <laughs> it's got like... Wait, why is it green vision? Gorgeous. And I'm completely out of stamina. Thank you. I'm so glad we get to see your soul this early. I mean, I guess we did kill a, uh, a gypsy, so it makes sense. Fun fact that purple skin on her body is indeed the skin of a gypsy. Spider webby movements in this game, that's for sure. Come back up here. I want to knock you down on the frickin' webs. You trapped. I can't trust you to release the info. I have no reason to release this. <laughs> yes, Plum is trustworthy. as far as I can tell, Plum is good people. Uh, okay. I don't know why you just swap down there like that, Missoula, but I'm not gonna argue. Okay, please, please, please just <laughs> let me get them out. Oh. 
that's not what I want to do. I just wasted all my files. No sleeping needle today, thank you. So there's a fun little trick I can do. That uh, lets me use the super charge blade attack when I block attacks. Thank you, Plum. Uh, Plum's Discord should be the same, I believe. Don't mind me, I just don't know how to swing my freaking sword. Cats, please help me. Never mind. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... I can't even say if that's our first cart in this. I don't believe it is. Well, first cart on stream, maybe. Because I've definitely died in expeditions off-camera. Bookish people have Discord, too. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a great place to put bookish stuff, honestly. Of course, I say that and I've never actually done it myself. I imagine it's a great place to leave quotes and like um, different book suggestions and all sorts of fun stuff. Actually, I have to wonder. There's got to be writing discords too, right? There's got to be. It's helpful when Instagram kept taking crap last year. Ah, uh, fair. I think we have a book channel. We should. If we don't, I'd be surprised. It might not be books, it might be writing, which... Eh. Nested under the same thing. Spinning tag, it's so good. I don't remember if she actually got it in GU. Oh, no, no sleepy needle. Kill Nursilla, this will unlock a lot of good weapon opportunities for us in a lot of categories. It's been so long since I've played freaking Charge Blade, I'm playing it. What? I'm play <laughs> playing it like I would in GU, which is suboptimal by a long shot. Didn't have her, my friends couldn't find her last post on ours. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure Plum and Cisco are in the Discord, but I don't remember. Parts from her? We might be able to make a better freaking charge plate. Die? 
No? There we go. <laughs> Five storm of books. Splash plum blossom. Eh. Right words, wrong order, I think. Yeah, my problem is I can't really give Duo good advice because my brain is not wired for it, I guess. Hmm, okay. Good idea, Plum. Like, I don't know. First off, I got really lucky with Wolf because we met in high school. So, it, that was easy. <laughs> we had very similar interests in terms of cars and firearms and books and stuff. So there's that. And we kind of just hit it off really well. So, I'm eternally thankful that's a that happened. Okay. Still the Chalicera. Lurking Assassin. Ooh, new materials. We still have enough show up on expeditions. So that's kind of a scary thought, admittedly. But yeah, one, I got lucky with Wolf, and second, I'm a tomboy to a fault. And Hearth is full of lava again. Screenshots of your profile. Okay. I'll have to show Wolf this later. Because they're making us our ship. She can comment here. Why nobody loves me? <laughs> have a boat that is a whale with a dragonator in its mouth. Best boat. It's it's stunning. I should have known my little girl's footprints would would it breaks into crying. Go ahead, Carabineer, give this beauty a name. She's ready to weather the stormiest of seas, I guarantee it. I'm certainly proud of her. I really poured my heart into this one, sir. At last the Capital C has its own ship. I've already picked out a name too. I'm gonna call her the Arlen. It means whale. Arlug in what language? Oh, I like that. It has a nice ring to it. With a proud name like that, she's certain to take you far. Thanks, Chief. Now let's raise anchor and make way for Cathar. Whoa, 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 you're leaving already? Take care, little miss. I know that one day you'll be the finest artisan the world has ever seen. Prepare us for departure, Chief. Hey, 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 double hey, just hold on. You have to take me with you. Huh? Did you just say- Oh no, Hearth Chief is not gonna go for this. Now hold on there, Missy. No one gave you permission to leave. Grumble curse. <laughs> nice. Nice Capcom. Wolf has returned! We saved Hearth again. We, we got lava flowing to Hearth and they built us a ship. It is a whale. Literally. <laughs> it's a whale with a dragonator in the mouth. Yeah, don't, don't do that. So, uh, the only update I have for you in terms of chat is that Duo sent Plum his Facebook dating profile. So that she can tell him what the fuck he's doing horribly wrong? Because I'm not gonna be able to help him. Yeah. Change profile pics to the safety vest of the one with the cat. The current one is just a no-go. Okay, well there's there's your first go. I don't know what his profile pic is. Neither do I. Which is fine. 
because we're not going to see it, at least not on Discord or I've anything like that. I've never looked at his profile. Either have I. Well, no, I think, no, I've looked at one of them, but not... This one. I've never looked yeah, at this one. Yeah, exactly. So, uh... I've little... given my inputs and they've all been... yeeted. <laughs> Which is why I, I told Duo that, uh, Plum is one, trustworthy, and two, probably a better judge of these things than we are, despite being in a relationship herself and whatnot, because... I don't know. She seems more, uh... Knowledgeable First. about these things. Although, she hates dating apps. Like, hates them. So. Which I don't blame her for, honestly. She chastised somebody for Duo being too really excited about something? Monthly, uh, huh? Wait, who's chastising you for being excited about something, Arthur? And yes, that is kind of a dick move. So I know you're not excited about, say, like, something terrible or awful, like somebody dying or something. I know that's not the case. I thought that was a good one, okay. Also, I'm muting again. Stand by. Where's my freaking mouse? There it is. Oh my god! We're back. <laughs> Duo thought his profile picture was a good one, apparently. Uh, not, not so much. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with what you've written or the other photos. Honestly, the cat wouldn't probably get you more clicks. That makes sense. Any any pictures with um, people and animals is always a good a good choice. Do you actually mention in your profile at all, Duo, that you like animals? You're not just holding onto a cat for a reason? Or for just some random reason? I mean, mentioning that you babysat kittens is probably a good point. Women like cats? Or that you babysit and, um, what is it, socialize kittens yeah. every time your mother, a vet, gets a batch? Exactly. So or a litter? That, that's a pretty strong one, I think. But yeah, so, I think I told you we saved Hearth. Well, not saved Hearth, we got lava flowing in Hearth again. They made us a ship, and now little Miss Forge wants to come with us, and the chief is really upset about it. Nice. But Pop, I have to go! How else am I ever gonna learn anything new? I gotta see the world. More importantly, I gotta see more barbarians so they can teach me stuff. Besides, the caravan needs me. I'm like, their go-to decorations person now. Yes, we can make decorations! Nobody watches the videos? Put whatever I want in them? You can if you really want to. Pop was asking about the videos. Uh... Maybe explain more about your likes and what kind of women are you attra trying to attract? That's a fair point too, Plum. They don't give me enough room for my life story! You don't have to do a life story! <laughs> you could do a short list of likes. Bullet points. Bullet points, yeah. Plan on being a permanent fixture in their smithy, so no ifs, ands, or buts. We're getting little misforged. Please, Mr. Carabineer, please! I'll work my hidey off, I swear! Chief is just upset. Whoa. Sorry, Chief, I don't think a uh, all time breathing emergency is gonna stop in this now. <laughs> Her mind's made up. Alright, little Miss Forge, I like your spirit. Besides, the capital C doesn't discriminate, you're in. <laughs> There's also the ability to um, make a statement along the lines of like, you don't have an extreme number of things that you enjoy doing. Not because you dislike doing a bunch of things, but because you have had your nose to the grindstone, you know, making a living, and you're not opposed to trying to find out if you like any of the things that your other people do. Other likes. Yeah. 
that and you invest a lot of time in the things that you like, so. That too. <laughs> See, Plum is supportive. And yeah, the voices in your head can always mess with you, so uh, watch out for that. <laughs> How about you give her a nice send-off cheap with a nice little boost while she rockets into history? <laughs> but I don't want to rocket my little girl into history! <laughs> Fine, she's human. She probably can't help it. She must get this rebellious streak from her blood parents. As crazy as, it, as crazy as humans are, they pulled off some incredible things. I wish you the best, little one. What was the thing we saw recently that was never challenge a human engineer? <laughs> it was... It was a fan fiction writing. Yeah. Never challenge... Never... Never challenge a human engineer? Or was it never dare a human engineer? That they can't do something. Never dare. I'm pretty sure. Not even as a joke. They will take it seriously. Mm -hmm. What's in Torpedo Bay 1? A tomato. A tomato capable of destroying planets, but a tomato. Oh, the voice in your head is the positive one? Well, in that case, listen to that one. Positive ones are always good. Facebook changed, Tinder changed. Cool. Cool, I was making changes to his profiles. Get out there and sap the world drive knowledge. No matter how far you go, you'll always be my daughter. Oh, Pop, no fair getting me all emotional. I love you too. Okay, you all ready? How about you, sir? And you, Mr. The Man. Guess I better start calling you Teach, huh? Anyway, nice to be aboard. By which I mean this is so incredibly cool! Well, if she's happy, I'm happy. Now then, Kindred Hunter, give the Chief the word and we'll be off. Also, we hunted a Nursilla when you were gone. I know you've seen that one a lot, so... I mean, Duo could go out and find a store that's got a fucking giant crystal on a ring. Instead of an actual diamond or a CZ. Mm. So for like 20 bucks, you get a fucking. You get a ring with basically something that looks like a diamond the size of a doorknob. <laughs> you could pretend to be rich? No, but you take a picture, you know, buy it, take a picture of it, like with him and the cat or whatnot. You get some gold diggers. Mm, I gotcha. Also, I don't think anybody deserves to be. Well, that's not a, that's not a, that's a lie. I don't think anybody in this chat deserves to be drawn and quartered because that's a terrible way to go. It could be fitting for a certain type of people, but and too good for many types. Exactly. So Hearth Chief is warning us to have our item pouch and everything prepared before we leave on the boat. So uh, yeah, we'll 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 heed your. Uh, mm, no, we do not want to set sail yet. In fact, take lots of time before you go leave with my daughter and go really far out to sea. Just hurry up, why are you prolonging my agony? Yeah, you. You better not- what? Thought I heard something outside. Better not let anything happen to the little one. She's all we've got. Okay, well, no, she ain't, but you gotta understand this is one of the emotional moments. You're right about that, Plum, but I'm, at this point I'm pretty sure he's just hoping for some kind of response in general. To start with. Yeah. But uh, that's a fair point. Though. Passport dating? Passport dating? What is passport dating? Mail order bride? Oh. Or <laughs> is that where you go over. And pop looking. yourself? Maybe. Basically, you get to give the. Uh, you get to give it a test drive <laughs> before you bring it home. Maybe. <laughs> You're actually drawn in corner for chiropractic reasons. <laughs> you taught yourself your hate. <laughs> oh, me oh my. Wait, okay. Cool. So let's go prepare our items. And Hearth looks a bit different now, as you can tell. It's all fiery and such. Alright. Multiply. Yeah, test drive. You test go drive? over and okay. test drive it. Got it. We can get better off pieces now. You make sure it'll work out and whatnot. Yeah, there, there we go. It's kind of like a 90-day finance. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, some people, it probably works out pretty well. A okay. lot of people probably works out pretty well. True. So we've upgraded the kitchen a couple times now. So he's really warning me. I don't know if I have anything else that I can take to help my situation at all. 
besides making mega potions. We can do that. We can take some mega potions. I think we're finally in the position where I can have these on a regular basis. Alright, that should be good. <laughs> Literally everything between Revy from Black Book and and Lily from Countable Show Show. Jesus, that's a list. Poor guys have been doing that since poor women are wanting millionaires versus average Joes. Ah, uh, there. Wait, Philip like murdered for what? Oh, for going over and trying to find a date overseas? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time to leave Hearth. Are you ready to head to your next destination? Want to set sail? Yes. All aboard the Orlog, then. I'm glad you got back in time for this particular scene. Just killed Marm's legs. Good, good touch there, Capcom. A vast you scary dogs. We got some freaking wind and rain and tornadoes. Oh no! Killed Marm lost her books. And here he is. Yep, and that's the player's first encounter with Gore. Which, honestly, I love to death. But of course I do. Hey, buddy! Oh god, okay, we're getting right into it. <laughs> Let me catch up with chat here, though, real quick. Scroll, you hope. Why aren't you scrolling? Cisco explained it. Oh god. Let's see. You cash money with people, I don't have the cash to go to Japan. The new buy, whoever gets it, is the one. Cisco said if they don't get that, then you do. What you do want them? Above the. Oh, Anything oh. from Revy to Katawa Shoujo. That's actually a good idea. Good job, Cisco. And Plum. Or Vietnam. <laughs> like Goku in the corner. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, Kanawa Shoujo is a pretty deep pull. I was curious. He said dead, not deep. Right? Oh. No, no, that is deep. Okay, deep pull. And Cisco knows what Kanawa Shoujo is. Yeah. So, I, I really yeah. have to think to remember that one. That's the one with. That's the dating sim with the girl with no arms, and the girl with burns, and the girl who's blind. Yeah, it's where all the girls have some kind of something going quote on. Quote unquote, flaw. Physical flaw, quote unquote. Yeah. You mean besides the, the murderous, insane one? Doki Doki Literature Club? No, I think there's also one in Katawa Shoujo. That's the burn girl. Maybe, I don't know. She, she has a big freak out, I think. The burn girl, but I don't know. I'd have to go through it again. <laughs> Funny how you're the one who's gone through it and I haven't. No, you watched me do one of them, I think. Yeah, but I haven't gone through it. But you it. haven't, yeah. You played the game. Cisco said, yeah, to do it when dying. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, Burn Girl is the one who gets a little... Yeah. Suspect. Let's see, maybe from the giant monster's perspective? Maybe they just put it... <laughs> just in heat or something? <laughs> they don't have to be forces of nature. That's a... Actually, that's kind of a fun idea, really. Just like, hey, here's this giant monster just trying to live its life, see what happens. Speaking of giant monsters, Karamini, what the hell what kind of monster is that? Well, this is no time for flipping through bestiaries, Hunter. You gotta repel that thing pronto. Try to wear down its health with two ballistae and a dragonator on the ship. You can fire either ballistae after you load it with ballista ammo. You'll find some lined up in front of the main deck. Dragonator's a whole other story. It's built into the power of the ship that packs one heck of a punch. Activation switches on the ship's upper deck up the stairs at the front tip of the bow. Okay. 
You got the monster right in front of the ship? Dragonate him. Just make sure you get the timing right. And don't forget, as always, if you faint three times, the battle's considered lost and you'll find yourself back in Harvest. <laughs> Thanks, Carabin here. Uh, let's see. For those that didn't, Revy's a female character who would sooner kill a person than argue. Yeah, that, yeah. Lily from Catawall Shoujo is the definition of mellow in the five. Oh, she's the, the blind chick. Okay. <laughs> sure enough. So don't let that happen, Kindred Hunter. Good luck, and I know you can do it. Oh, you're starting with this! You okay? Don't tell me you caught it too! Oh no, you're exhibiting the symptoms of that mysterious virus we've gotten reports of recently. I just checked the latest dispatches. As time passes by or you take damage, the infection will get steadily worse. You have to act quickly before the virus consumes you. You have to boost your immunity and overcome it. Give it everything you've got and attack monsters as much as possible to weaken the virus's hold on you. I'll keep researching your condition. Take care of yourself until we can figure this out. I'm in the water. Uh, I bet you've got to climb back up. Yep. I'm working on it. And now we're inside the boat. Okay. Just give me these things. I don't care about the frenzy. We're just gonna have to deal with it. The hearth chief said to be prepared and all that, and I frickin' forgot to eat. Where are you, Gore? Um. Cannon ammo. Huh. Well, frick. I'm just gonna try to do as much damage as quickly as I can. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I'm not knocked off the boat. I've learned more about that mysterious virus you've caught. Pretty disturbing stuff, I'm afraid to say. If you can't fight off the virus in time, it'll saturate your entire body. Eventually, you'll lose your natural ability to heal and take increased damage from all virus-infused attacks. Yeah, it sucks. And well, I hate to say it, but it looks like that's exactly what's happened to you. This isn't good. Please be careful. I mean, more careful. I mean, extremely more careful. What's chat saying? Catching up on chat? Yeah, just trying to read the people's vlog. Oh, okay. Frick. Damn it, Gore. I just want to blast you with a cannon, my guy. And I'm dead. <laughs> I, thought the, I thought the mass was going to protect me. Let's go into G first. Uh, can I do anything else? I see, Plum is giving more tips. No, I think I lost my opportunity for the Dragonator. Are you gonna stay there? You're going back down. Get dragonated. No! <laughs> you <laughs> you cocksucker! Gore, you are not- Welcome to standing up class. And, and you, you failed. failed! Yeah. What the frick, dude? Plum boss will be here being the most socially adept person in all of chat. I know, right? Hitting Gore with cannonballs and hopefully. Kind of sounds like she has more. She's more social than you have. Literally, been like half of Chad combined. Oh! Frick. Whoopsies. God damn it. He's messing me up. Well, I know Plum reads like how I used to. Like how me and you used to. So, that's probably got something to do with it. You know what? What? What'd you say? I know Plum reads like how me and you used to. Oh, yeah. Like devouring everything. Huh? Yep. No, no, no. Not off the boat again. That's a 
don't really count that as healthy social. True, but you learn about people. Not really. Eh, yeah, maybe I guess, I don't know. You what? learn about characters. True. Which I guess doesn't quite equate. I'll learn more about that mysterious virus that you caught, and I think I might have some good news. Those who have overcome the virus before could take hold report experiencing a temporary boost in strength. What? You fought off the virus entirely? That's amazing. This could be your big chance. Go put that big uh, that power boost to use. What can I get, Mom? But uh, my, my my good friend here is uh being a bit elusive. Oh, I broke his face. The amount of cannonballs on that one side. I hope that explosion hurt him too. Oh god, you can mount him on the boat? Okay. I didn't think so. Oh god, okay. Maybe we should be at this corner here. Charge blame on a PS4 controller is kind of awkward. Okay. Okay, okay. We're, we're doing okay. We died once, but we'll be alright. <laughs> Eight candles. Uh... Oh, frick. Where are you going? Go to the front of the ship. Okay. Now's my chance. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Barely, but we got him. What's your fist to be held there? You're in Chicago. Just want to murder me, there's your chance. I doubt anybody wants to murder you. You used to listen to your sister and your best friend about their dating lives for like 14 years. So, I've seen a lot of failed relationships. And former foster kids, you learn to read people in a sense. But also, because of the shows I watch or books I read. A lot of those reasons are good ones. Alright, we'll try to make it to the other part of chat. Oh! I think the cats actually succeeded in repelling him. <laughs> Thanks, cats. <laughs> Quest complete. Awesome. Uh, Paul also says, thankfully, my best friend's happily married now because he never took any of my advice until he fell in love with his wife. Wow. Kitten photo added to Tinder. Marissa Kirisami? Oh, okay. Bye, buddy. I'm sick your shit. Oh, I was gonna try. Ace Commander has a gilded boat? I guess. 100% there's someone in chat who wants to kill me? Won't say names, but there's stars. <laughs> I doubt he wants to kill you. Doesn't usually like to kill people. Oh, you forgot that your profile pic was something rather strange. Fair enough, duo. And our brand new boat is now ruined.
Hmm? Welcome to Sun Snug Island. What? Yeah, not a word I can say quickly. Sun Snug? Sun Snug. Well, we're not dead. <laughs> Even you made it, Hunter. Pleasant surprise. So I think you walked out while the um, Ace Commander was giving us a, a good talking to. Also do in the beginning of the conversations, make sure you list your deal breakers or things you can accept. That weeds out incompatibility. Makes sense. Deal breaker for zero, duel. Somebody who, can't, who, somebody who can't live in the same house as guns. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Bless my heart, that was a shock. Are you alright? You're... what? Hurt? Challenges? What the f- what is this woman talking about? <laughs> Just... keep going. Keep- okay. I heard what that monster did to you. Sugar on toast, I nearly fainted. Welcome to my village. Chico Sands. Oh, sorry. This is Chico Sands, not Sun Snug. Sun Snug is the, um, place for the Falcons. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I always forget about the 240. No, I definitely don't want to kill you. That would be kind of weird. There's little to see here besides me and my felines, but it's home sweet home. This is literally the embodiment of the crazy cat lady, by the way. Please stay and rest for a while, you poor darlings. How much do you remember, Kindred Hunter? Did you see this damaged fool ram the monster within his ship? <laughs> or deranged, maybe? If he hadn't done what he did, you and me would have uh, probably gotten splattered into many nautical nuggets. <laughs> Forgive me for being contentious, Lord Scribe, but I could not allow a ship in distress to go without rescue. <laughs> I'm not certain that describing me as a danged fool is entirely apt, sir. Oh. Okay. Well, you destroyed his ship that he just built, Commander. Like, he's gonna be pissed off. And I'd also be surprised that some household chores can be deal breakers, too? That's crazy. I mean, I've heard about it, but it still boggles my mind. Post that picture in general chat Discord if anyone needs a laugh. There's my Tinder profile pic while he's not actively using it. Uh -huh. That's actually a pretty good point about household chores being deal breakers. Finding out what people are okay with doing. Something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, a dang fool. <laughs> in care of a new man. Anywho, we managed to wash up in Chico Sands with all our bits intact. Oh. Let me tell you, it says a lot about the man's craftsmanship and your bravery, Kindred Hunter. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I will not simply be a wallet. Ah, yes. And not so many words, too, so it fits in with the, the limited characters that he, that he has available to him. No, that's er early conversations. Mm -hmm. Not, like, on the profile. Yeah, true. What a funk we'd bump into the guild's most dangerous mark. They've thrown all they've got at that thing. <laughs> Even the Ace Hunters. We still don't know half a bit about it. Dang to the luck, that's what that is. It has a name, at least. The Gormagala. It's a true menace. Vicious, unpredictable. Once, it uh, once its indiscriminate chaos has been wrought, it vanishes. We must learn its habits, what sustains it, and then put an end to the creature as soon as possible, no matter the cost. <laughs> Lord Scribe, I must insist you leave this dangerous matter to me and the Aces. No one expects you to be a hero. Hero? Shoot, son. We're just trying to not collectively kick the bucket. That dangerous matter of yours come, came after us. Then might I advise you to employ a more capable hunter, sir? Screw you, Commander! <laughs> hey now, XA on the low blows. I've got a keen eye for hunters. I know something special oh, to see. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Plum. That was a bit of a surprise there. So, and if conversation progresses before sexual relationship happens, be upfront about kinks or lack thereof, says Plum. From Cisco. Kinks? Not kids? <laughs> kinks. Oh, kinks. I, I read kids the first time I read through it. Kinks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Peel them like a yam. That's that's an image. Excessive tattoos is a hard pass for you. Okay, well then, include that. Regardless, we'll take your sage advice and try to stir up any dung while we strike out for Cathar. What's that, Deary? You mean you're trying to get to Cathar? I suppose no one's told you then. The village of Cathar was built way up high on the tallest of mountaintops. I'm afraid that not even the finest ship can take you all the way there. Oh. What? A village in the sky? Hooey! Now that there is a sour pickle. Oh. But I love pickles! So I say we hunker down and start finding some way to kiss the sky. 
Granny, if you don't mind, we're gonna shack up into a village for a spell. Really? Goodness me. Can I ask your hunter one teensy favor? Very recently, a... What the... A, a dreadful light, dreadfully large monster has wandered in the vicinity of Chico Sands. At Sunsung Isle, you'll find a young feline miss who is absolutely determined to protect the village. It's just off, just off shore from the beach. Be a dear and see what the miss has to say, would you? Alright. A lot of people to talk to. So, uh, I guess we'll get started. I'll probably talk to everyone and then... Call stream, since it is getting a bit toasty. I can also save talking to everybody for later. Mm -hmm. Actually, better yet, I'm gonna open the gathering hub and then we'll call it there. Considering it's almost 80 in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll start streaming a little early in the day on Wednesdays. Try to save us some of the uh, temperature. TikTok dating? Wait, what? What? Duo's got some successful TikToks. Yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> you have less than vanilla kinks. There are dating apps centered around kinks, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so the only reason why I'm opening this up, by the way... Yeah. No. <laughs> Is that TikTok or the kinks dating? Both, maybe. My sister told me TikTok now has dating. Jeez, okay. So... What? Oh, that's a... Th there's a freaking... That's awful if there's a dating site for that. That would be... No, that, everybody on that website should be burned. That would be Twitter. Fair enough, actually. Well, yeah, no, you're not wrong. So the only reason why I wanted to open the gathering... Well, so Twitter before go... Elon. Yeah, Twitter before Elon. I have not been able to do guild quests at all, and I have a uh, a nice list of Velocidrums and Kutkus to, to murder for gunner armor. So I'm gonna be doing that all camera. First I'm gonna talk to all these people. Not doing TikTok dating, I am not a retarded super <laughs> god. Not, not going to say anything, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm not gonna say anything. Greetings <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm the Gong Lady. The crash of this gong is a rallying cry for hunters around the world. Some even say it can be heard a few worlds over. The ring the oh gong will use a local play. Mm -hmm. Well, she's the she's the hunter search lady. Say it, Wolf. It, it's it's not a good comment. I'm gonna <laughs> Wolf is gonna say a funny. I don't think it's supposed to be a funny. It's up to I mean, it's your discretion. It's called being a wise ass. Exactly. That's what Wolf do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it could put things, things in perspective, or it could hurt. <laughs> It's up to you. I'm just skipping through the Gong Lady because she's all about multiplayer that doesn't exist anymore. Sorry, Gong Lady, you are officially out of a job. So if you see Hunter Fire, yeah, yeah. Like maybe if I ever get online and exchange guild cards with people, she might be useful. Hi. Oh, uh, um, hello there. Welcome to the guild store. The guild store. I hunt all of your your selling needs right here. Oh, dang it! I mean, sell your hunting needs. Needs. Dang it. <laughs> I'm messing this up, aren't I? Can you, tell him, can you tell him new? The guild just sent me out here three days ago. Folks in guild store boot camp called me a doofus, but I tend to keep up with the rest of the tastefully dressed women here. Okay. I'm gonna rescind that. <laughs> Says the 30-year-old virgin. Ah. Huh? Oh. Ah. Well, there you go. Says the 30 year old virgin. <laughs> two, two comments in a row, okay? What's the phrase? It's that the answer to for? both of them. Wait. What? No, Wolf is not the 30 year old virgin. No, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> no. <laughs> Duo's basically a 30 year old virgin. Basically. We'll let Duo elaborate if he feels to. Also, note that she's dressed up in a pink Guild Marm outfit. <laughs> I know that sucks. Oh, okay. But what? Sorry, what are you- what are you- what are you- The I'm going uh, to rescind the I'm not going to say anything. It's the same answer to both comments. Hmm. Otherwise your marriage would be invalid. That's true. But hilariously, it's also- We're not legally married, so there you go. <laughs> but I then mean, again, technically, by PA, in PA, you don't have to have sex to be married. Well, PA common law legally. says if you live with somebody for, I think, five or ten years, then they- Five years. Is it five? Okay. 
Common law? Okay, well then, yeah. Common law is definitely in... Flies? Yeah. Yes. I just look back at the screen and I see this lady yelling at me. Must be strong. Guild power. The guild master told me I need to be energized at all times. Anyway, step right up. Let me count your chance. Or your change with the intensity of a devil Joe's unending hunger. Hit the guild store for items to lure. Thanks, lady. Uh, I need to talk to this guy. Welcome to the Gathering Hall, where we provide butter for your adventure sandwich. I run the place on behalf of Hunter's Guild, which exists purely for folks like you. So nice to meet you and all that. Now, you've probably already heard that Bell Harbor revolves around the Gathering Hall. Hunters like you hunt monsters, which draws caravans looking to hire you, which helps the big marketplace here prosper. <laughs> That's right, Mother Hubbers, while everyone else was out getting laid, I was out there getting laid off. <laughs> well, yes, but that that wasn't the point there. Like, that's... I, I, I know, I the know. The point isn't know. that you... <laughs> I know, I know, I get it. I get what you're... I know. It's okay. It's the point okay. is, it's oh, okay. I'm going to make my pull smaller. Okay? And then it's... Yeah, I don't have any other kinks, says the guy who hasn't had sex. Mm. Oh, I don't like the... I gotcha. You don't like the idea. And my sister yes. is a is a virginizer Wait, what is? It? I'm just gonna assume I know what that means. Yeah. It's exactly what I think it is. Yeah. She she a hunter, deflowers yeah. people. Yeah. A, a, That's amazing. A, a virgin hunter or deflower or whatever you want to say. <laughs> <A> virgin hunter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. Which happened like four times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Poor duo is a terrible job. Look. So I shouldn't have to explain that my particular gathering hall specializes in caravan hunters. That hunters, a caravan is just a caravan. That's why, or that's what I wish my daddy used to say, but my daddy was boring. At any rate, you should meet plenty of hunters here to so try and make friends. Next up, hunter registration. And yes, I'm doing this because the freaking dialogue is hilarious to me. She tries to avoid virgins, but somehow that's what she attracts. Oh! Uh... <laughs> oh no! Poor girl. Well, I don't know I should, I mean, if I should say that long actually. As she enjoys it, it's not poor girl. It doesn't sound like she does. Well, actually, that's not true because then you wouldn't you wouldn't be deflowering somebody if you weren't it. It doesn't them. sound like it's intended at all. That there we go. Yes. I have TikTok on deep sleep because it was eating up all my memory. All your, all your battery. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Is there a deep versionizer for like autistic people? Probably. It wouldn't surprise me if there was. It's called a hooker. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> Dire Fox. I know you were looking for the word. <laughs> <laughs> or did you just completely forget the profession? I just completely forgot the profession. <laughs> God damn it. Well done. We're all about like any split here. You're now cleared for gathering whole quests. Talk to any of these charming young ladies if you want details, okay? Then happy hunting. Uh, okay. Ooh, I'll give you a quick rebel tour, blah 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Canteen is good. It makes your health cool. It also makes you fart, apparently, according to the dialogue box. <laughs> It's got a nice little guild store. Do a good job and we'll be able to hook you up with better supplies. Chances are going to want to link up with other hunters. Go talk to the other lady. Yeah, we're going to skip this part because it's all about pulse part. It doesn't exist. Uh, okay. I know headbutting Jaggy is a heck of a lot more fun than reading, but real hunters know they've got to do both. <laughs> now go get a monster reader. <laughs> Arena and low quest trees. We'll talk to you. All done with hunter registration? Great. Welcome to the quest counter. And a low rank quest. Yep, yep. The guild receives tons of requests from all kinds of folks, which are then filed as quests. Those quests are, made, are then made available to hunters like you who carry them out. The majority of quests we offer are intended to be handled in groups. Each quest is assigned a level, which is indicated by the number of stars. And there's the division there. You might even say some really difficult quests mark in advance. Yeah, those suck, by the way. Quests marked with one or two stars feature relatively weak monsters, right? Wait. They bailed because she was more experienced and kinkier. That's just wrong on so many levels. Huh. I wouldn't necessarily say that she was dating men. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking guy. Okay, we encouraging quests. So the other reason I'm unlocking this is so I can do other quests that we have seen the, for monsters that we've seen before that I don't have to uh, worry about hunting. Hmm? You should probably talk to you, Arthur, about Laura. She's pen. Huh? Maybe. Probably had the no issue with the ladies. <laughs> Good luck. 
big whoop, the old lady might be at the bottom of the rock, I'm gonna own this ladder. That's, yes, that's what you sound like to me. Anyway, I know you'll go far. So let's get this hunting party started, your real life's about to begin. So, I can do guild quests, I can do event quests. What do we even have in here? Anything? Literally everything that we've killed. This is great. This is great news. I can actually do other stuff. So, on that note, I'm gonna find somebody for us to raid because it's freaking hot and I need the air conditioner back on. That's, that's Only unfortunately our problems with men. That's kind well, of wild, actually. Well, that's because society has been telling men for the last 50 years that it's a bad thing to be anything like a man. Yeah, that's actually a fair point, yeah. She's in D&D and also anime. Oh, then yeah. She definitely talk about all sorts of stuff, most likely. Let's see. Who is live? Couple 40 is playing Kingdom I'll Hearts. over here shilling her sister to Arthur instead of Duo. <laughs> I think there was a shilling on both parts, honestly. No, no. I think she specifically avoided Duo. Oh, because of the deep not on poor, not on purpose. Just mm, fair. specifically only shilled to to Arthur. I gotcha. So, by the way, we're gonna raid Zen because Duo wanted to raid her last time, and she's live right now. So we're gonna awesome. Do she's playing uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which I haven't beaten, but it looks like she's not as far as we were. And honestly, I just like to talk to Zen anyway. So okay. <laughs> Zen is one of those folks that plays a game till it is dead, to the point where she has completed everything and there is nothing left to explore. She plays, sometimes she'll play Otome games, and she will Just clear. Disappear. Yeah, Duo's, I don't know where the fuck Duo is, this is now twice that he probably hasn't actually, he, he's kind of got, you know, very light case of Asperger's, which is like, what is it, doesn't take social cues, doesn't see social cues almost at all, so mm -hmm. like, unless you shield your sister, like, to him like you just did Arthur, he probably didn't even notice. That's actually a fair point, yeah. <laughs> Poor duo. My sister might eat them both alive if they started talking about kinky stuff. <laughs> well, well, from the sounds of it, duo probably wouldn't mind. Or might, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard to tell. Also, this particular guild quest lady is for the arena and she constantly belittles you. Yeah. Oh, you think you're such a big it's bad like, hunter? The way I put it is, it's like people who think they can, you know, do COD stuff in real life, or do, like, Forza slash um, Need for Speed stuff in real life, but have never touched a gun, or never touched a car, we have and four then, seconds. They, they, then they find <laughs> out they can. Bye! Bye! 